So this is going to be a full energy read for you today with a full Celtic Cross finish at the end. So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this is going to be an energy read for you today, a full Celtic cross afterwards. And I like to think of it like uh, looking out the window to see what the weather's like before you start out on your day. You know, just kind of get yourself prepared. So uh, that's what we'll have, a full uh, energy read, full Celtic cross. Get your questions ready. Okay, so this is the Visconti Tarot. And this is a um, Los Caravillo uh, deck here. These are gilded and they're very cool to um, to use. I just don't know that they show up as well on the camera as they look in person. Um, I don't think they do. The uh, instruction booklet that comes with them is, you know, run of the mill. It's in a couple different languages, I think. And um, so it's fun. Now the cards are, you know, regular shape. And, and the cool thing about them is the gilding uh, that's on them. So that's what's so very nice. I mean, in person, they're really amazing, amazing. And I don't think they show up this well on the camera. Um, but, um, but they're still fun to use. And there's some people that this really gilded look of card really is the right, or some situations where this is the right thing to use. So I spread these out so that you can get a look at them and see what kind of different cards are. I've got quite a few decks and... Um, what I do actually is I use credit cards that give me uh, uh, cash benefits and then that's what I use to buy these cards with. So there you go. So if you think you'd like these Visconti Tarot, then you should give them a try. Okay, so this is going to be a full energy read for you today. And I like to say this is like, uh, you know, like I said, like looking out the window to see what the weather's like before you get started. Or maybe uh, this, if this is finishing up your day, maybe this will lend some context to it that uh, clears things up for you. In any event, this is the best time to just go ahead and get a deep breath, take it in, let it out slow. Just try to center yourself. Uh, think about what's important to you. And... Um, and ask for maybe some guidance from these cards. Um, you know, it's all up to the collective consciousness and uh, spirit will hopefully uh, lead us to some conclusions that will make sense to you and uh, be useful. So, full energy read for you today. Okay, we're gonna do a full Celtic cross, six cards, and then four at the end. So this is one, Two, three, four, five, six. And I have to think that whatever made you tune in today, uh, give this special attention. Um, this is going to be useful to you. So we have six cards. We're going to look for the signifier for you. Um, energy read with a uh, Celtic cross. Signifier card then. Okay, this is the uh, Two of Cups. And so this is uh, is love. This is partnerships. This is finding the right uh, combination, uh, the right emotional situation to um, get you through or to give you some guidance for whatever it is you're doing today. So cups are emotions, passions, um, and uh, the two of cups is finding a balance, is finding the right partnership. Um, and it could be a person, it could be a thing, it could be a process, it could be uh, just anything that you have to pair with. In other words, you can't do whatever it is you want to do unless you have this additional uh, element uh, to this uh, issue. The challenge of that then is going to be this King of Wands. King of Wands 
So wands are, are actions. They're plans. This is motion. This is forward power. This is fire. And the king of wands is the fellow who is completely in charge of all of that. Okay. So the challenge to this compassionate, this balancing act, uh, this pairing is uh, perhaps someone who is uh, really wanting to go ahead with this planning, get it done. It could be you or it could be someone else. But that's the challenge. It just tells us to look for balance before we uh, jump uh, into uh, whatever it is that we're uh, thinking about taking care of. The base of this reading, then, is the world card, okay? Or the Wheel of Fortune, I'm sorry. So the Wheel of Fortune is uh, um, always, I like to say, it's always turning in the, in a positive direction. It's going to take us somewhere uh, that uh, will be advantageous to us. Not to say that there won't be times when we may feel a little topsy-turvy. We may feel that uh, it's a little bit difficult to get through this. But notice, that's only a small portion of this wheel. The majority of this wheel is a forward balancing, uh, positive, uh, moving ahead energy. So the base of this whole thing for you today is to uh, understand that uh, everything you do, no matter what it is, even if it's a wrong decision, it's moving you forward in your journey. The uh, past of this reading then, with this Five of Pentacles, you know, the Five of Pentacles is sometimes thought about as kind of like being out in the cold. But remember that Pentacles are value, okay? They're worth. And uh, even that person, let's say uh, you're a beggar on the street, and uh, you're looking into that church, and you're wishing you could get in, and you think that the, the answer to everything that you need might be within the warmth confines uh, inside that uh, structure. But guess what? You have value all on your own. You stand alone with with God's grace, God's value that you are, that is inherent to you. So you have what you need. That doesn't mean it's not nice to sometimes get a, a helping hand to move along. But the past in this reading, being this five of pentacles, uh, means there may be an element that, that, that makes you feel, uh, or some element of this issue is as if it's not being really taken care of and looks uh, hopeless. But guess what? There's always hope right around the corner, just inside that window, just inside that church. Uh, you just have to have the strength to to, to move into uh, the um, the 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 power that you need. The uh, sky of this reading, then, wow! With this ten of pentacles, you know, ten of pentacles is uh, you know happy family. It's familial wealth. It's something. It's a value that you can pass on to the generations, to the next iteration of whatever it is that you're dealing with. So to have this ten of pentacles as a sky in the sky is almost. Um, a target to aim for and a promise that uh, that that is something that you can aim for uh, not foolishly that is there for you so that's a great card to follow that five of pentacles feeling a little left out in the cold ten of pentacles listen everything you need, need there to cause a ripple effect on in the future is there for you the uh, likely outcome of the first part of this Celtic cross then is this two of wands and you know the two of wands are planning these are short-term plans wands are planning action motion fire, getting a thing done. And that's what this two of wands does is saying, listen, we know that if you make these steps, that this will further you on your journey. So understand that you're, you're at the point now to where this is setting up the rest of this journey. Okay. So for the last four cards of this energy read, the self of that question, uh, the energy read for you today, what do you need to know about what's swirling around in the universe in the ether uh, that's going to affect you? The signifier of that is this five of swords. You know, the five of swords is sometimes referred to as an abuse of power. So there may be some element of what's going on for you that feels as if you've been left out, as if you've been taken advantage of, or it could be you that's leaving someone out or you that's taking advantage of someone. But whatever it is, recognize that element of this uh, day, of this situation, of this issue, if you have an issue, that, uh, that that can be there. And just knowing that makes the blow, uh, makes the news uh, just a little less um, dramatic, severe. But that's in the environment of what? That abuse of power. That's in the environment of, oh, look at this. So this is the hermit. So the hermit is the fellow who's studying his path before he takes makes a plan to go forward. He's looking uh, with this light into the future to make sure that he doesn't put a step in the wrong way. Okay, so the hermit is is knowledge, is perspective, it's uh, planning even. So this uh, abuse of power is in the environment of you know taking the time to understand where you're going with this. The um, hopes and the fears for this situation is this seven 
of Swords. And you know, this is uh, a difficult card to get uh, behind this abuse of power. The Seven of Swords is uh, theft, betrayal, uh, feelings of something's been taken from you uh, that uh, that is yours. Or again, this could be you that has done this. It could be without knowing. Usually it is with knowledge, especially if you draw this card. So whatever's happened that to make this uh, card show up in the hopes and the fears, and I would say this has to be a fear, this, this um, theft, this betrayal, um, it, again, it's just, uh, you know, a, another uh, reminder to look for that. And listen, if you have been betrayed, it's not the end of the world. You're going to wake up again tomorrow and have to move forward. As a matter of fact, immediately after the trail, you're moving forward. Uh, the world is continuously going around and you're going to find yourself in a future situation that will soon have been your past. So, yeah, this uh, uh, betrayal, this uh, thievery, this uh, bad feeling, uh, just be aware of that it could be uh, with you. But the, the final outcome of this whole thing for this energy read for today is this uh, Queen of Pentacles, a very good card to end up with. You know, Pentacles are value. Uh, uh, they could actually be money. Um, they represent something that is um, viable, that's tradable, that's useful. And this Queen, uh, I love to see her. She's a calm Queen. She has her hand, you know, protectively but gently resting on that value and she's uh looks like she's getting ready to give counsel so the queen understands her value she knows what it's worth and so the likely outcome of this whole thing whatever the issues is that you come into is that uh, this will end up for you as a valuable uh, uh powerful uh situation so just to go over it again for clarity so we start out with a signifier of the Two of Cups, an emotional uh, balancing, uh, almost a celebration a lot of times with this Two of Cups, which is great because some of this reading was a little difficult. <coughs> and then, but the challenge of that is this King of Wands, this King of Plans. So the challenge to this little bit of an emotional balance, bouncing act is this uh, King of Plans, wanting to get things done. So that might mean, understand, take a breath before you do too much. But the basis of the whole thing with this uh, Wheel of Fortune is that uh, the fortunes are turning. I always like to say they're turning in a positive direction. In the past of this reading, then with this five of pentacles, was kind of feeling a little bit left out in the cold. So just knowing that is an advantage. And then in the sky of this reading, or if you're reading this after your days happen, uh, knowing uh, why maybe your day was the way it was, that could be uh, helpful. But then the sky of that is this ten of pentacles. So you have room to shoot for the very best that will have valuable ripple effects that will carry on into the future. And then with this two of wands, short-term plans, that's always a positive um, uh, movement. Uh, ahead. Now, the uh, signifier for that question is uh, your energy for today. With this five of pen this five of swords is uh, typically a little bit of an abuse of power, and uh, so again, be aware of that the uh, uh, environment that that's in with this hermit card is studious, is perspective, is looking where you're going. And then with the hopes and the fears of the Seven of Swords, this um, uh, can be theft, can be thievery, and could be on your part or someone else's part again. So that's a uh, now that you know, it will make things clear. Maybe this already happened if this is at the end of the day, or this is something to look forward to in your day and look out for. And then with the, the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing, it ends up very well, nicely with this Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Value, completely in control of her worth. And uh, I don't think you can ask for more than that. You've got a king and a queen show up in this uh, reading, and I think that's fantastic. Well, I hope that was meaningful for you and you got something out of that, something useful that you can uh, use for the rest of this day. And uh, if it didn't ring true for you, it might be uh, for someone that uh, you care about or that's in close proximity to you, or it may ring true for you tomorrow, or it may just not be for you at all. If that's the case, fine, just leave it there. And, um, you know, we wasted another 15, 20 minutes. But we'll do it again tomorrow. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. Thank <laughs> you.